Hi, and welcome back, and thanks for joining me again today. And yes, again, James chapter 1, verse 19, Let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. Verse 20, For the wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God. And I really believe that God still wants to squeeze a little bit more out of this. And uh, I've got a scripture here, Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 13, and it reads, He who answers a matter before he hears it, it is folly and shame to him. So he who answers a matter before he hears it. You know, in the book of James, it's saying, let every man be quick to hear. But how does it work then? It, you know, if a person uh, suddenly gives their advice or counsel uh, on a matter that they haven't heard yet or they haven't fully heard, so really they, they're forming an opinion on the matter. And this really damages relationships. It damages friendships. It damages marriages. It does so much damage. Uh, people uh, really have the right to be heard out to what they have to say. And we as uh, the listeners really need to give them that privilege to speak and to say what they really want to say. And so here it's saying, he who answers a matter before he hears it, it is folly and shame to him. You know, it, it again uh, can create a lot of problems. Have a listen to this. Some of these uh, sayings that I've heard, I've written down. I know that you believe you understand what you think I said. But I'm not sure you realize that what you heard is not what I meant. And so sometimes we can form an opinion uh, of, of, about what a person is saying because partway through conversation, we've cut off and we're already thinking about something that we've heard and not fully paid attention to all of the conversation. And I believe this again can cause endless troubles in uh, friendships and relationships when a person is misunderstood and, and not fully understood as to what they were really trying to say. Now when it says here about he who answers a matter before he hears it, it is folly and shame to him, it brings out the, the idea that a person uh, is uh, wanting their wisdom and their understanding uh, to be heard, to be known. And it comes back to that word ego. I heard something else a while ago that said uh, ego has small ears. And um, I think that kind of like rings true in some cases that, you know, ego does not really want to hear. Ego doesn't really want to learn. Uh, ego just wants to uh, be in the position to give counsel, to give advice, and to uh, lead a conversation, uh, even if it's not about them. And so, you know, this is the big thing. Uh, big egos have little ears. You know, it says here, one advantage of talking to yourself is that you know at least somebody is listening. You know, you ever felt like that? That, oh, well, no one understands what I'm saying, and no one's really hearing me out, but you know so well within yourself what you're trying to say, and maybe we ourselves uh, are failing in the art of communication and making it hard for the listeners, for the people that are trying to work out what we are saying. And, uh, you know, if that be the case, obviously there is some work to be done. Now, a bit of homework there would be husbands and wives and friends and, you know, uh, associates, whatever it may be, it's a good thing to sit down and talk and discuss this topic of, uh, of, of conversation and ask them, uh, uh, you know, from a, a rating of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, how we sit as far as being a good listener and the same how we rate as being a good communicator. And I think you may be surprised. Um, a lot of uh, marriages that uh, I have uh, known, that are people that I've known really well, uh, will often say that, oh, you know, my wife or my husband, they said this but actually meant something else and I just find it so hard to understand what they're trying to say. And when you hear that trying to say, you know that someone is either not listening or someone is failing to communicate properly. And so either way, these will end up being uh, miscommunication uh, and leading to eventually uh, or the possibility of the wrath of man coming into play and which it says that does not produce the righteousness of God. Anyway, join me again tomorrow, and I think we'll probably have just one more on this subject, but I think it is a very, very important subject, 
in, in relation to uh, relationships, marriage, friendships, partnerships, as far as in business or whatever. And, uh, we, and I know we need to get this part right. Good communication is very healthy. Anyway, until then, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.